So okay, very good morning children. Today we are going to continue the second part of the story that we have seen on the first video. So the title of the story is the story of an old man who made wither trees to flower. So this is the title of the story that we have seen in the previous class. So this is the continuation. So the, uh, I will repeat the title once again. The story of the old man who made wither trees to flower. So, this story is all about the old man who made the withered trees, that means the dried or dead trees to flower again. Okay. So, for the first, uh, in the first part, we have seen about the old man, his wife, and his dog, Shiro, and his neighbor, wicked neighbor, and his wife, and then uh, the knight, uh, and then guy. So, uh, what happened in the first part is, so the old man and his wife loved their pets dog Shiro because they don't have any children and uh, they shot all the uh, love towards that uh, Shiro and uh, one fine day Shiro was barking for a long time the old man went back to his feet and saw Shiro uh, barking at a you know, tree and he went on uh, to that place and he thought that Shiro has sent something so he went back to his home brought the spade and uh, shot the him and he found what? what he found? He found some gold coins, yes, some valuable gold coins there. So he was very much happy. He called his wife and both took the gold coins to their house. And uh, they felt very much, uh, they felt, uh, they showed their gratitude uh, to Shiro by petting him and loving uh, more than normal. Okay, so uh, after that, what happened is while the old man and his wife were taking the gold coins from that place to their house. Uh, the wicked neighbor who was next to their house, whose smile is very cruel and uh, he was like a, uh, uh, he is a cruel man, right? Yes. So, he's, he already has hatred towards the old man and his wife and his dog Shiro. So now, the old man has got some pressure also. So, uh, this, all these things made him to become, become very much jealous and uh, he thought that he had to do something to get uh, the, the fortune, okay? Uh, the fortune that they got. So he planned and he just went on one fine day to the old man's house. It was not a fine day, it was a bad day because the old man, uh, the wicked old neighbor uh, went to the home of the uh, house of the old, uh, old man and then he just, uh, this guy, this guy, okay. He just asked him to lend Shiro to him for a short period of time, okay. So the wicked neighbor is asking to the old man, he is a good old man, okay. So this guy asked the old man, to lend Shiro for a short period of time. Okay. So this old man already knows about the character of this wicked neighbor because he's very much cruel and now neighbor. Okay. So but uh, the old man is a good person, right? So he said that okay, just take my dog and uh, I, but on one condition you should uh, you should take good care of Shiro. That was the only condition said by this old man. Do you think he will follow that? No, because he is a well, so he just took uh, that Shiro to his house and uh, immediately after reaching his house he took Shiro to the garden area and uh, asked him to find the treasure that he already found in his master's garden. Okay. So he forced the Shiro by dragging its neck towards the ground and asked him to dig. Okay. So uh, without any other way what Shiro started digging at one place and uh, this guy, this old man, this wicked old man thought that Shiro has sent something that it might be a treasure so uh, he was very much anxious and he started to dig himself uh, moving away Shiro from that place and uh, started digging for a long period of time and what he found? He found a large uh, amount of refuse that means garbage and what? A dead piece of or a dead carcass of a Cat, that is a dead body of a cat. Okay, so uh, till that we have seen in the first part. So, what happened next is now we are going to see. Here, yes, I will read it once and I will explain. The old man's whiskers can't be imagined. This soon gave way to anger. He had seen his neighbor's good fortune and hoping for the same luck himself. He had borrowed the dog Shiro and now just as he seemed on the point of finding what he sought, only a horrid smelling refuse heap had rewarded him for a morning's day. Instead of blaming his own grief for his disappointment, he blamed the poor dog. He seized his spade and with all his strength struck Shiro and killed him on the spot. He then threw 
the dog's body in a hole which he had dug in the hope of finding a treasure of gold for it and covered it with covered it over with earth. Then he returned to the house telling no one, not even his wife, of what he had done. Yes. <coughs> so what happened is the old man, the old man is now disappointed, not the not the good old man, this wicked neighbor, this wicked old neighbor is now very much disappointed because he did not find any treasure or gold coins in the place where he was buried. Okay. So this made him to become very much angry. Okay. But he actually he should get angry of himself because of his greed, but instead he was very much angry towards she because he was the one who found uh, who sent that place. Okay, so that's the only reason for his anger. He was very much angry that led him, he was very much angry that led him that uh, with his spade that he had in his hand, he just struck with all his force on Shiro's head, and immediately after that hit, what happened is she was dead. Okay, see how cruel, how cruel this person is. He was very much cruel that for not uh, finding the treasure in his place, which is not there already, he was he got angry on not only on, not only on uh, the old man but on the poor dog and killed him with the one strike of spade on his head and uh, that she looked dead on the same spot. Okay, so immediately after she was dead, he just put his body in the uh, in the place where he dug in the hole where he dug from the body, and he just closed it and covered it with earth, and he just left it back to his house. Why? When he was in his house, he didn't say this thing. What he has done to every to anyone, he didn't even say it to his wife. Okay, so that's what says this pattern. Next. After waiting several days, as the dog Shiro did not return, his master began to grow angry. Day after day went by, the good old man waited in vain. Then he went to his neighbor and asked him to give him back his dog. Without any shame or hesitation, the wicked neighbor answered that he had killed the Shiro because of his bad behavior. At this dreadful news, Shiro's master wept many sad and bitter tears. Great indeed was his Woeful surprise, but he was too good and gentle to reproach his bad neighbor. Learning that Shiro was buried under the Yenoki tree in the field, he asked the old man to give him the tree in remembrance of his poor dog Shiro. Yes. <coughs> so now what happened is after waiting for a number of days, this old man he was very much anxious to see Shiro after a long gap. Okay. So he was very much happy that he is going to see Shiro in a few days, but uh, it was because uh, the, days, uh, the, the days were running for a long time and uh, uh, Shiro did not return. Day after day went by, the good old man's uh, heart was in pain because he did not see his lovable pet. That is like they brought him like, a, like their own child. Okay. So in that case, if, if the dog is not returning from the wicked neighbor's house, he started growing his is feeling for Shiro and he was very much anxious. Okay. So one fine day, not that now this is also not a fine day. One day this old man went to the house of this wicked neighbor and he just asked him by the shield. But in, in in the reply he just said without any shame that he had killed Shiro because of his bad behavior. So do you think uh, Shiro behaved in a bad manner? No. But this man, because of his greediness, to get more, more, more. So in that search, he just killed the poor dog, she. So he just told this news to the old man without any shame. I just killed she because of his bad behavior. So the old man was very much sad because he was saddened by his news because the dog was their dearest or, or, or dearest thing, uh, part of the rest of the world. The old man and his wife had only a piece of land and a dog. They don't even have a chimney. So this made the old man to get very much emotional and started crying. Okay. So he just requested he, 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 this this old man is very very much good in behavior. So uh, uh, how I'm telling is he didn't even reproach, that means he didn't even scold the Wicked old, neighbor, wicked old neighbor for killing his dog, but instead he just asked, where did you bury him? Then this 
Now we can even show that I hurry under the NOP tree. So this old man is putting only one reference that I just need, I don't, I don't uh, ask you for any other thing, but I just need that NOP tree from where my dog was burned. That was the only request given by this old man to the wicked neighbor. Clear? Yes. So, the uh, wicked neighbor also uh, just uh, gave the tree in remembrance uh, of Shiro to this old man. Okay? Yes. Now, <coughs> even the cross over the neighbor could not refuse such a simple request, so he consented to give the old man the tree under which Shiro was burned. Shiro's master then cut the tree down and carried it home. Out of the trunk, he made a mortar. In his wife put, in this his wife put some rice and he began to pawn it with the intention of making a festival to the memory of his dog Shiro. Yes. So now, this old, this old man, after uh, getting permission from the wicked neighbor to get that tree, to own the tree, remember, in the remembrance of Shiro, he just went to the uh, tree under which Shiro was buried and he just cut the tree. He just cut the tree and uh, he just carried the trunk to his house. Okay, so after uh, taking that piece of trunk uh, from the you know, tree to his house, he made a motor. He made a motor from that trunk. Motor. What do you mean by motor? Motor means a bowl from <coughs> a crushing substance into powder. It is like a, a bowl in which you put something under with a uh, with, with, with a stick or something like that. You just crush it. Okay. So motor is nothing but it's a, it's like a it's more of like a mixer grinder or a grinder. Okay. Yes. So he made a grinder from uh, or motor from the trunk of the tree. Okay. So in that in that uh, the old man's wife put some rice to make some cakes to celebrate a festival in the remembrance of she. Not in a happy note but in a sad note. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> A strange thing happened. His wife put the rice into the mortar and no sooner he had begun to pound it to make the cakes than it began to increase its quantity gradually till it was about 5 minutes. The original amount of the cakes were turned out of the mortar as if an invisible hand were at work. So this old this old couple they were started they were starting to grind the rice to make uh, cakes. In, uh, in, uh, to celebrate a festival in remembrance of uh, Shiro, what happened is, uh, see the miracle of the nature. So, uh, while uh, she was cooking the rice and uh, the old man was grinding the mortar, so as soon as uh, they started grinding, the quantity of the rice is becoming increasing. Okay, the quantity was increasing within five minutes. Okay, then the original amount and the cakes were turned out of the mortar as if. And in this will hand to buy at work. So uh, instead of uh, um, it is like it is like a man. Okay. So the old man is grinding the rice. As soon as he was grinding for five minutes, the quantity of the rice increases and uh, it turned out to be cakes from out of the motor. Is this possible? But still, that's the magic of life. Okay. So the old man was grinding the rice and as soon as uh, after uh, five after five minutes of time the rice becomes Case. Okay, so he was the both the couples were very much surprised. Yes, next. When the old man and his wife saw this, they understood that it was a reward to them from Shiro for their faithful love for him. They tasted their cakes and found them nicer than any other food. So from this time they were never troubled about food, for they lived up the cakes. They lived upon the cakes with which the the mortar never ceased to supply them. The greedy neighbor hearing of this new piece of good luck was filled with envy as before and collect and called on the old man to seek permission to borrow the wonderful mortar for a short period of time, pretending that he too saw for the death of Shiro and wished to make cakes for the festival to the dog's memory. The old man did not in the least wish to lend it to the cruel neighbor, but he was too kind to refuse. So the envious man carried home the mortar. But he never got it back. <coughs> Several days passed and Shiro's master waited in vain for motor, so he went to call on the borrower and asked him to be good.
good enough to return the motor if he had finished with it. He found him sitting by a big fire made of piece of wood on the ground lay what looked like very much like a piece of a broken motor. In answer to the old man's inquiry, the kid they were answered haughtily. So now what happened is already we have seen you now the, 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 the treasure that was uh, that was taken up that was found by Shiv. So that incident uh, made any the he was very much jealous this guy. Wicked king was very much jealous of the good fortune that they got. Okay. So now the old man made a motor from the trunk of the tree under which she was buried. Okay. He just carried it to the house, he made a motor from that, and in that they were grinding rice to make some cakes for celebrating the festival. So the quantity of the rice also increased and uh, uh, the cakes were coming out of the motor. Okay. So on hearing this this good fortune. This old man again with the same con uh, cunning uh, thought, he just came to, came to the house of the old man and uh, he just requested now again. He, uh, I, I listen again. This guy is very much envious and he just asked him permission to lend the motor for a short period of time. Likewise, he said he, he did in the previous uh, time, like he borrowed Chiro. Now he is wanting to borrow the motor. <clears throat> okay, so now the good old neighbor, he, he, he was very much trying to refuse at first. That is the only problem. If you are not willing to do one thing, you should not say yes to it. Okay, but this, this old man is very much kind. So, he just lends the motor to the old man and he just carries it back to his house. Okay, but after a long time, again, he did not return the motor to the old man. Now the old, uh, now the old man uh, feels very much uh, sad that uh, this old man, this wicked old neighbor is not returning my motor. And one, uh, one day, he just goes back to his house. This old man goes back to the wicked neighbor's house and he is just inquiring about the motor. <coughs> Why it is good for you to return my motor to me back? Because it is my own property. Likewise, he is asking. But this wicked old man was sitting in front of a fire that was made from large pieces of wood, which was more similar to be the pieces of a wooden mortar. So what happened? Yes, we will see. <coughs> the good old man said, I am very have you have you come to ask me for your mortar? I broke it into pieces and now I am making a fire of wood. For when I tried to pound cakes, it is only some horrid smelling stuff came out. The good old man said, I am very sorry for that. It is a great pity for you. You didn't ask me for the cakes if you wanted them. I would have given you as many as ever. Now please give me the action of the motor, as I wish to keep them in remembrance of my dog. The neighbor consented at once, and the old man carried him a basket full of ashes. Not long, not long, not long after this, the old man accidentally scattered some of the ashes made by the body of the mortar on the trees of his garden. A wonderful thing happened. So now, what happened is, now he, he just went to the wicked neighbor's house and asked about the mortar. But the cunning, oh, cunning wicked neighbor said, I broke your uh, mortar into pieces and made fire in which, uh, in, which uh, in front of which I am sitting. Okay, so like that he said. Why? Uh, the old man asked uh, for the reason. Why did you do like this? But uh, this uh, neighbor told that uh, I, I, I just borrowed it to make some cakes. But uh, instead of the rice, some horrible stuff came out of that uh, horrible smelling stuff came out of your mortar. That's why I broke it into pieces and made fire. Like that, he said. Okay. So now the old man. Even now, the old man did not even scold or uh, get angry towards that uh, wicked neighbor, but he said, It is, uh, I am uh, very sorry for that. He, 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 this man is asking sorry to his wicked neighbor, for the motor is not giving any cakes to him. Okay, see, this is how good people will be. Here, so now uh, this old man is asking him. At least give me the ashes of the mortar that you have burnt into burnt into fire, so I can get the ashes in remembrance of my dog Shiro. So now the old man carried the uh, uh, 
a bucket full of a bucket full of ashes to his house. Okay. So accidentally he will sprinkle with some ashes on the trees in his garden, and one wonderful thing happened. What was that? We'll see. It was late in the autumn, and all the trees had shed their leaves. But no sooner did the ashes touch their branches than the cherry trees, the plum trees, and all the other blossoming shrubs burst into blossom. So <coughs> that the old man's garden was suddenly transformed into a beautiful picture of spring. Old man's delight knew no bounds, and he carefully preserved the remaining ashes. The story of this old man's garden spread far and wide, and people from far and near came to see the wonderful sights. So yes, it was the beginning of the autumn season. In autumn season, what will happen is the trees from the leaves will be the leaves from the trees will fall off, and the trees will be standing with branches alone. So in that season, accidentally this old man sprinkled some ashes on his trees in the garden, and uh, all the cherry trees and plum trees and uh, other blossoms, other uh, other shrubs started blooming and blossoming. Okay. So it was a wonderful sight and it was very delightful for the old man that uh, something magical has happened again because of this shade, she was ashes. So this news, this news uh, spread in the uh, villages that are uh, around that uh, old people and everybody started coming to visit their garden because it was very much beautiful and it was having different flowers and fruits. Okay, so yes. One day, soon after this, the old man heard some knocking at his door and going to the porch to see who it was. He was surprised to see a knight standing there. The knight told him that he was a retainer of great Dino, that one of the favorite cherry trees in his old man's garden was with her, and uh, that though enough, the everybody in his service had tried all means to revive it, none took effect. The knight was perplexed when he saw what great displeasure the loss of his favorite cherry tree caused the dying. At this point, fortunately, they had heard that there was a wonderful old man who could make little trees blossom, and his lord had sent him to ask the old man to come to him. Yes. So now, one day, there was a knock at the door of this old, good old man's uh, house. So he just uh, went back to his door and saw that there was a knight. Knight means a warrior or a soldier was standing there and he told that uh, our Dino's garden is very much beautiful and precious in that his very own uh, cherry tree <coughs> seems to be very much without and we all tried different means of uh, ways to make the cherry tree to bloom but uh, all, uh, all went in vain. So we heard about uh, a wonderful old man doing magic in in his garden that he is growing uh, trees uh, during the season of autumn and uh, our dino sent me to bring you to him to make the widow tree to bloom okay so that was the request sent by the knight to the good old man yes now and i uh, the knight i shall be very much <coughs> Very much obvious if you will come at once. The good old man was greatly surprised and what he heard, but respectfully called the knight into the noble man's palace. The Daimo, who had impatiently, who had been impatiently waiting the old man's coming, as soon as he saw him coming at once, or if the old man would make a rich flower even out of season, the old man made an obeisance and replied. So the word obeisance, obeisance is nothing but a movement in which you bend your head and the upper part of your body forward towards to show your respect to someone. It is like bending your upper part of the body to show some respect. Okay. So this old man is uh, respecting the king, respecting the king. King means diamond is a small a lot. Okay. I am that old man. Then the diamond said, you must make the dead cherry tree in my garden blossom again by means of your famous ashes. All. They they all went into the garden, Daimo and his retainers and the ladies in waiting who carried the Daimo's squad. The old man now tucked up his kimono and made it ready to climb the king, saying, Excuse me, he took the pot of ashes with her, which he had brought him and began to climb the tree. Everyone watching this movement with great interest. At last, he climbed to the spot where the tree divided into two great branches. And taking up 
his position here, the old man sat down and scattered the ashes right and left all over the branches and twigs. So yes, now the old the the, the, the daimo, the king, the daimo just requests the old man to make that uh, particular cherry tree in his garden to make bloom. Okay, so now the old man is getting ready for his task to be done. He just uh, Tux is kimono. Kimono is a Japanese dress. He just tucks his kimono and getting himself ready to get uh, uh, to climb up the tree. And at one point, where the tree becomes two branches, he was uh, standing there and just took the particular ashes and sprinkled the ashes on the left and the right to all the branches. Okay. Yes. When the old man and his wife saw this, the, they understood that it was a reward to them from Shiro for their unfaithful, for their faithful love to him. They tasted their cakes. So now, what happened is wonderful indeed was the listen. The withered tree at once burst into full bloom. The dino was transferred with joy that he looked as if, as if he would go mad. He rose to his feet and spread out his fan. Seeing, calling the old man down from the tree and then rewarded him with much silver and gold and many other precious things. Daimu ordered the so the old man should call himself by the name of Anasaka Jiji or the old man who makes the trees to blossom and that henceforth all were recognized to him by his name and he sent his home and sent him home with great honor. The wicked neighbor, as before, heard of the good old man's fortune and all that had auspiciously befallen him, and he could not suppress all the envy and jealousy that filled in his heart. He called to mind how he had failed in the attempt to find the gold coins and then making the magic cakes. This time, surely he must succeed if he imitates the old man, who made the widow's Christmas flower simply by sprinkling ashes on them. This would be the simplest task of all. So now, at, the, at their surprise, on seeing this old man sprinkling the ashes in the cherry tree, immediately after sprinkling, the tree started blooming and it was like the giving cherry fruits. The king, the dog, the dino, dino stood up and was very much shocked. And he just called the old man to get down from the tree and he just rewarded him with uh, silver and gold and he also told him that you should be called here after with a name what? what name? Hana Saka Gigi so from now you should be called by this name the uh, meaning of the name is the old man who is going to is making the dead trees to blossom so that's the meaning okay he, he was very much surprised by the action of the old man and the old man was very much humble to get all the uh, all the gifts and uh, all the things that was given by the king. He was very much happy. Okay, so the king now sent him to send him back to his house with a great honor. Okay, so this news again was heard by this wicked old neighbor and he was very much envious and jealous now. Okay, so even more he was uh, he was developing even more jealousy. Okay, so now he just uh, first he tried to uh, to search for the treasure in that thing, then uh, with the motor incident and now with the ashes how this old man is uh, making the widow this flower so this is the easiest task that we can imitate by the old man and we can get some uh, get some things some good things from the king so what he is going to do now Let's see. so he set to work and gathered together all the ashes to remind in the fireplace from the burning of the wonderful mortar then he set out in the hope of finding some great man to employ him calling out loudly as he was as he went out. Here comes the wonderful old man who can make wither trees blossom. He comes the old man who can make dead trees blossom. Daimon is glad that as he described and said, That must be Hannah Saka Jiji passing. I have nothing to do today. Let him try his heart again. It will unlock me to look out. So the leaders went out and brought in the imposter before their lord. The satisfaction of the great old man cannot be imagined. But the Daimyo, looking at him, thought it strange that he was not at all like the old man we had seen before. So he asked him, Are you the man whom I named Hana Sakajiji? And the endless neighbor lied, saying, Yes, my lord. 
that is strange. Say that say the Daimyo Maika, there was only one Hanasaka Jiji in the world. Has he now some disciples? Disciples? I am the true Hanasaka Jiji. The one who came to you before was only my disciple. The kind of old man again. Then they must be more skillful than the other. Try what you can do on the PC. So, now the envious neighbor with the daimyo on his door following the went into the garden and approaching a dread, uh, approaching a dead tree, took out a handful of ashes which he carried with him and scattered them over the tree. But one, not only did the tree not burst into bloom, not even a bud came forth, thinking that he had not used enough ashes, the old man took handful and sprinkled them over the bigger trees again. But all to no effect. After trying several times, the ashes were blown into the diamond's eyes. This made him very angry and he ordered his weekends to arrest the false Nanasaka Gigi at once and put him in a prison for being an imposter. From his, this imprisonment, the wicked, wicked man was never fed. Thus, he did, thus did he make to the punishment at last for all his evil doings. Yes. So now, he thinks that he can imitate the good old neighbor in uh, bringing the ashes and sprinkling on the trees and making the trees to plant. So in that effort, one, one day he just uh, uh, hired a person with him to call on, to cry on the street that uh, here comes the old man who can make the dead trees do. Here comes the old man who can make the trees to plant. So like that they were, uh, they were, uh, they were like, uh, roaming around the villages. And uh, by crossing the, the Daimyo's palace, he just heard this, uh, this cry. And he just thought that this was the old man that came on that day who made my cherry, cherry tree to bloom. So he, uh, he has nothing to do on that day. So he just asked the, the retainers to call the old man to meet him and he can do some magic so that he can be amused with that. So they called the old, uh, they called the imposter, that is the wicked old neighbor who was in the disguise of the old man. Okay, so the diamond was at the very far side itself. The diamond was discovered that he is not the person who came on that day. So he just asked, Are you the Hanasaka Gigi who came on that day? Uh, he just questioned. But now, this old man, this wicked old man, like the best, my lord, I am the original Hanasaka Gigi, and the person who came on that day is just my disciple. Disciple means like my junior. Okay, so yes. So this uh, dino thing, dino thing start, so this guy can uh, perform a very much good art comparing to his junior. For that reason, we just asked him, just try a tree, a dead tree is there in my garden. We have to come to my garden and we have to make the dead tree to bloom. Okay. So they just uh, brought him to the garden and uh, they asked him to sprinkle some ashes in the tree. Okay. So uh, and then uh, they just waited for some minutes. This old man, this uh, wicked old neighbor, just went to the garden with the ashes and just sprinkled a little bit of ashes, but there was not even a bird came out of that tree. So he thought that okay, the quantity of the ashes is not the enough for him, so I will put some more ashes. So he just uh, took another handful of ashes and sprinkled all over the <coughs> garden. So some of the ashes got into the eyes and dying on it, it made him very much angry. And uh, after that, he thought that this old man is lying and uh, he is not the real Hanasaka Gigi or the old man that came on that day. So he asked his imposters and his, and his, uh, and his um, soldiers to attach him immediately and to imprison him. Okay. So he was not even freed for that long period of time and he was imprisoned in the jail itself. Okay. So that was the only punishment he, uh, he got for all the mis uh, malpractices and all the things he has done to the old man and the poor dog shield. Okay. Say so yes. Now, that good old man, however, with the treasure of gold coins which she had found him for him, with all the gold and silver which diamond had showered on him, became a rich and prosperous man in his old age and lived a very happy, long life, loved and respected by all. So yes, now, on the other hand, this old man, you are already uh, rich. By the old wife that was, that was given by who? Shio, that was found by Shio. And he also had that motor. With that, he, uh, with that ashes, he made the wooden piece to bloom. And uh, for that, the, 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 the daimyo 
rewarded him to make us. Okay, so he was he was like very much uh, rich and he was very much settled in his life and uh, he lived in a uh, village and he was very much rich and all the people respected him and loved him for what he has done in his life. Okay, so he led a very much happy and long life. Okay, so yes, at the end of the story, from this story, what we are learning is we should not greed for the things that we don't have. Okay, so if we have something, we should be very much content with what we have. So that is the moral of the story. So you should not get jealous or envy of your your friend or your neighbor for having something higher than you. So what you have, what you have in your actual is very much enough for you to live. That is the moral of the story. If you if, if you want to imitate or if you get jealous of your neighbor, like this wicked old neighbor, what in, what will happen at the end? You will be punished for what you have done. Okay. So that is the whole moral of the story. Okay. Just listen to this. Reproach, scold or rebuke. Mortar, a bowl for crushing substance into powder. Retainer, a servant. Wither, dried and shriveled. Obedience, a movement in which you bend your head and the upper part of your body forward to show your respect for someone. Next, imposter. Imposter is nothing but a person who pretends to be someone else in order to trick the people. So, this neighbor, wicked neighbor, imposter like the old man and went to the diamond house to spend the ashes. Right? So, that action, that person who is doing a malpractice is called a imposter. Clear? So yes, this is the story of the story of the old man who made widow trees to plant. Okay, I hope you all understood the story and uh, just read it once in your uh, phone and you just write the short answers in your notebooks. See you in the next class, children. Take care.